you cannot beat yourself up for a person making a decision that they made because that's their decision. As much as it hurt or anything like that, if it's a painful decision, you can't beat yourself up for the decisions that they've made. talk about their problems with other women you know they can talk about their relationship problems they can do these things it's another thing lessons <laughs> and even though i i've seen these things and i picked up on these things and i know these things it's just being able to be more aware this tragedy created so much awareness for me and even though i was on studying and learning more about mental health and not just mental health in general, but even mental health as far as in men and also the black men and our black men. I'm just learning so much and it's so heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking when you have men who are told that they have to be a particular way and they know they have to be a particular way. They ain't just told, it's like in their energy, in their being, that it's like, okay, I'm the strong one. I can do this. I can take care of this. You know, don't let anybody see me cry or anything like that. Don't let anybody see me hurting. I got this. I got it. I got it. I got it for my family. I got it for my loved ones. I got it for the world. I got it. But then they're breaking. If they don't have that love and support, it's different. Like my son was there for his friend for a lot of different things. So my son, of course, is taking it very hard because he's like, when these other people were breaking him, he was the one helping them pick up the pieces. I have an important announcement to make, an exciting announcement to make. It's been my goal for 2022 to be able to serve more people because my one-on-one -on -one coaching is full. So now I'm able to open up my group coaching. So you can be a better you in 2022. I'm so excited about it. And the wait list has been growing day by day by day. So make sure you sign up for the wait list. You want to be a part of this? Sign up for the wait list. Check it out. CoachNyla.com. I'll see you on the other side. Assalamu alaikum. Peace. But see, when it comes to certain things that we may need, our human needs, sometimes it's from a particular person or a particular sex. You can have a lot of stuff from your bro, but from your love, from a, a woman, from someone that's supposed to be your comfort, your support. And I'm not saying that if relationships are going south that you just stay in them or whatever the case may be. You have to figure that out, but you have to be very aware of each other's feelings and mentality and emotional stability at any given moment, if you really care about them, period. We care about our kids and care about what we say to them and how we say things. Because we say it's not what you said, it's how you say it. I mean, even though it could be what you said too, but you could say something in a way that can cut to the core. You can put people in a position or a category that make them feel a certain way. My son made a comment about what his friend said uh, one day when, um, before we left to go travel, um, and my son is not with us traveling right now, but before we left and his friend told him about not taking the car on the freeway and all this other stuff to come and get, him, uh, I mean, to come and visit and everything like that, to come and see if my son wasn't listening because he was like, you don't understand, you don't understand. 
I got to see with my mom or he's a mi madre or, mm, you know, before, you know, I got to see her, you know, whatever. <laughs> so, you know, be mad. I just deal with him being mad when I get back because I got to do what I got to do. But this guy, this, 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 his friend was like a big brother to him. So it wasn't even about, it was like a lot of for his safety because he's like, the car's not going to make it on the expressway. And of course it did. But my son, he was like, look, sometimes I got to show my bro that I know what I'm doing. You know, that he don't have to hover over me, that I'm going to be good. And when he came to see me, you know, it was really good and everything like that. But then, um, you know, he was like, he told his friend that he didn't care. And he told this thing when he well, he made the comment. And so they had the conversation. He said, dude, you know, that really hurt me though. When you said I didn't care, you know, that, that stung, that was, you know, that was out of order. And I did a video before talking about, I said, when your husband don't care. And I was talking about being careful of putting them in that category, saying that they don't care about something because they didn't do it the way you wanted them to do. Or, or to do it, or they didn't say things the way you wanted them to say it, or um, they didn't treat things in a way that you probably would have expected them to treat it or wanted them to treat these things. So being aware, because the signs are there. People will say that you don't see the signs, or sometimes they're like, well, I didn't know, or this came out of nowhere. And because just our nature it's really difficult to hide for a long period of time and for those who, from those who are close that you are going through something. Even the introverted introvert, even the most introverted introvert can display signs of something being wrong, period. Lessons, lessons that I'm learning, being more aware. Um, realizing that you cannot beat yourself up for a person making a decision that they made because that's their decision. As much as it a hurt or anything like that, if it's a painful decision, you can't beat yourself up for the decisions that they've made. Um, another thing is realizing that men are sensitive and have feelings. They're strong, but they're very sensitive inside. Their egos are fragile. And they love hard like we do. I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, well, well, women love hard too. You know, yeah, we know what women do. We hear it a lot. That's the thing. See, those are the things that's been talked about. People know that women go through things. People know that women get hurt. People know that women, you know, love hard. People know that women put so much weight on themselves of pleasing people. I mean, we know that because we talk about it. It's been talked about. That's the double standard that my, my co-wife, Coach Fatima, and I talked about where things that women can do that men can't do. Or that they wouldn't be talked about for. Like I stated before, if a man talked about how these problems that he's having in his relationship to his guys and that he's hurting, he may get clowned. He may just be told, oh, just leave her, dude. Or all these different things that he may not want to do. Instead of this understanding of like, you know what? I feel you, dog. What can we do? Because men don't operate like that. But if they know, we can say, oh, well, men should operate like that. That's not how they operate. So what do we do? We get them help. We look for the signs. We get them some help. You know, we try to give them information. We do what we can. But if we, if what we've done has not been, you know, no one took heed to it, we can't beat ourselves up for it. But... We can't turn a blind eye and we can't put them in a category as they don't, as if they don't have feelings, as if they don't care, as if the things that we say or do as women to them doesn't break them. And when we're saying negative stuff, when we're telling them that they can't do this or they can't do that, we're not having their back. 
when we're telling them that if you, you know, if you have a husband that want to practice polygamy or if you want to practice polygamy, I'm going to take the kids. If you want to do this, my son had a whole another thing. And it's just uh, another video for another time because I'm actually going to, we planned because I talked to him before and he actually said he wants to speak on it. So we may actually do a live. If you guys want to see that, definitely put it in the comments. We'll do a live of how he's dealing with these things that he's learned, you know, from his um, friends, suicide and things as far as that. But there are a number of things that has really hit hard and it's just being aware of these things and knowing that um, men have it hard when they want to put out the information. I remember a post that my son wrote that said, you know, you can't, I can't remember it word for word, but it was on the lines of, you know, as a man, you can't show your feelings or something on the lines of that. And, you know, um, his dad commented on it, like, nope, you can't, especially not in public or something on the lines of that. So, looking at this, this series of hurting men, and like I said, yes, we do hurt as women. Yes, we do have these things as women. But are we going to be comparing ourselves or are we going to compliment each other? I know the saying to say hurting people hurt people. And are we going to be the person that's because I'm hurting you got you have to hurt too or are we going to be wise enough and say you know what I need help because his cry for help ended his life and it hurts so many people that he's touched so do we want to be the ones that say well I could have should have would have when we're talking to our husbands, and as I stated, kind of got off track when it comes to polygyny. If a husband says that, you know, he want to practice polygyny and then wife threatens to, kill, to take the kids, threatens to leave. They say, oh, you're hurting me because you want to do that. And project all of those fears and insecurities and the pain and everything like that on him. Like he doesn't have other things that he's thinking about too because he wants to do this as a man, but he still wants to be with his wife that he already married but she could be making it hard because she can't deal with him being with someone else even though it's not taking love away from her men are built that way to expand love not to take it just I don't love you anymore and that was the thing that I was getting into that my son made a comment about he knew that his friend was um, polygynist, like he wanted to marry his his um, child's mother. He wanted to be a man and a protector and a provider for other women, for other people. <laughs> but it, you know, those things cause issues with women. You know, especially when you're ingrained to believing that if you're not in monogamy. That monogamy is the end all to be all. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with monogamy, but just saying that if you're not, if your man is not monogamous, if he doesn't want to practice monogamy, that he doesn't love you. That's again putting that on him, and then now he's feeling a certain way. How can he feel like he can come and get that support? Not just support about polygyny, but like support about anything if you are threatening threatening him with things that matter to him so much, just to just to exude your power, or just to exert your power. So I just gotta think about those things. Like I said, I know this is this topic is very long. This video is long and it can totally be longer because there's just so much to say about it. And so much to say about the topic. It's so much to say about it when it comes to relationships when it comes to polygyny, when it comes to marriage, when it comes to just being able to communicate and feel safe and feel that even though we may disagree, we may have some issues, we may have some problems, I know I can still come to you because the way you handled a tough situation, 
the way you handled something that was hard, the way you did that. So yeah, I gotta go. Um, I don't know what else to say. I can't be smiley and happy on this video. <laughs> it's, um, this is very serious. This is a very, very serious topic. Um, I was just trying to think of what, if you guys made it this far, what to put in the comments. And I just want you guys to put, understand, put understand, understand, because we need to understand or try to understand one another. We need to try to not allow our misunderstandings to cause us to be distant to people, to be harsh to people, and to be so selfish that we don't see their hurt because we may be hurting too. To be able to understand that with love, with care, with support, that we can have outstanding relationships and being able to, if we have to part ways, part ways graciously and understand that that's important as well. Until next time, this is Coach Nyla. If you um, got some gems from this video, definitely. And if it touched you, definitely share it. If you see that it can benefit someone else, share it. Um, like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, make sure you're growing intentionally, loving fearlessly, and connecting on a higher level every single day. Assalamu alaikum. Peace. Here are three ways outstanding personal relationships can help you. Make sure you guys are following us on our social medias at Outstanding Personal Relationships on YouTube and Facebook and on IG at Outstanding Relationships and also Clubhouse under our names. And make sure you go to OutstandingPersonalRelationships.com and sign up for our email list. And there you will get updates on our new book, Let's Talk Polygyny Uncensored. Absolutely. And... Last but not least, when it comes to coaching or counseling, if you want to work with us one-on-one -on -one or in group settings, make sure you're on that website and reach out to us because we do have very limited spots and we like usually have a wait list. So with that being said, GLC. Make sure you're growing intentionally. Loving fearlessly. And connecting on a higher level every, every single, single day. day. Stone Lake. Peace. Peace.